Today's episode is brought to you by Noble and Postman Cowboy Memes. This is the story of a Raspberry Pi portable. The Legion says it was created by three men under the sign of the meme and the mod. And one of them, he wasn't happy with all the other Game Boy like portables out there. So he fulfilled the ritual of the 420 and prayed to his unholy gods. And his voice has been heard by the meme machine itself. And he was given the most ergonomic Game Boy like portable ever created by humankind the Hampy. <laughs> No, serious guys, a lot of people complained about the lack of explanation and content in my last video, so I'm trying to address it now. While visiting my friend Noble in the USA, also a former model, check out his channel, we started working on a Raspberry Pi portable. I always liked the original Game Boy shape, so I created a case like that. While brainstorming and a lot of testing, prototyping and modeling, we step by step improved the design, usability and economics until everything just felt perfect. After the case design was done, everything aligned and all the components placed on screw posts, we designed the inlay that we 3D printed onto the front of the case using a hemp containing filament. The rest of the case front was made from a wood containing filament. The backside and some of the buttons were also printed using hemp or wood filament. So the Hampy really earns this name. After printing, all the parts were sent for hours, until the Hampy was smooth and our fingers bleeding. We decided to use the Raspberry Pi 3 Model A, which fits perfectly into the top half of the case. The 2.2 inch display is an ILI9341 SPI screen. Battery charging and the PSP analog stick is handled by the Retro PSU PCB, which is connected to the Raspberry Pi using I2C. The battery holds 1.5 amp hours, giving the Hampy a battery life of about 1.5 hours. Tested using the standard benchmark for Raspberry Pi portable battery life measurements. After assembling the unit, we were facing a lot of software issues. Which I didn't expect, uh, I mean, there are a lot of Raspberry Pi portables out there. After getting the right frame buffer copy program running, and fixing the script that handles the joystick and the buttons, RetroPi didn't really want to configure the inputs of the emulators correctly. Which might be because we had to use a weekly build of RetroPi. Anyhow, since I'm a Linux admin, it wasn't too hard for me after all. And the work of two weeks paid out. The Hampy just feels right in your hands, the buttons are smooth, and the Raspberry even handles N64 and PS1 games nicely. On the outside of the case you will find the Raspberry's HDMI and audio output, USB and microSD slot easily accessible. The buttons are directly connected to the Raspberry's GPIOs and handled in software as well as a volume control, on-screen display and PSP analog stick. For more information, my software forks and all my documentation I will hopefully someday upload, check out the links in the video description and as always, thanks a lot for watching.